Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Resident Evil 2. Uh, we've just killed the G spawn, which that's, I looked it up. It's a G spawn, it's a boss, thank God, because those little minions would have been a hassle. Uh, and I think we're going to the sewer plant now. Oh, fucking catch up, Sherry. Sherry, you lit. what? Come on. Yes, yes I will. Please don't tell me I've got to escort Sherry all the way through the rest of the game. Alright, where are we now? Come on, let's get out of here. Uh oh. Shut up. That would be Birkin. That would be Daddy, I think. All right, deep into the rabbit hole we go. Okay. God damn it. Sherry, where are you? Sherry. God damn it, Sherry. All right. Come on then, Sherry. we got in here is like some storage room. Oh, fuck. Uh, I haven't got any... I haven't got any weapons. Can I crawl? I can! Oh. Oh no. Get off. Oh no. What do we have? We have the wolf medal. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on, Sherry. Guess I've got to go get Sherry then. <sighs> Useless girl. Alright, so blue heals poison, which probably means I'm going to get poisoned. If I can pick up the herb, that would be awesome. Anytime, there we go. I think, I think if you combine green and blue, it cures poisoning. So, let's get straight to it. Oh, we've got a safe room, which is good. And we've got a note on the table, if I could just pick it up. There we go. Sewer Manager Facts. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make sure 
Make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment you will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transported Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Burton, Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. He will be informed of other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you, Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, so let's put stuff away. Don't need the blue herbs yet. Don't need the acid rounds. Don't need the submachine gun. Probably need the valve. Uh, and I would assume I've got to go down. I can go down here or through the door. What's in the warehouse? Oh, was it? Oh no, it goes to a different area. So there should be a zombie here. Oh. Get off. Okay, so Sherry went through there. Oh, awesome. So we need to figure out where else she went. Is this the door that she came through, though? Yes, yes, this is the door that she came through. So... I don't think there's anything else in this room, other than... Is there anything on the shelves? Broken bolts? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we must have to go down the um, the lift then, which will take us to a different area. Don't want any surprises. That's a map. And let's continue exploring this way, shall we? Okay, so obviously we need to get the, the, the sewer map. There's probably something in the water. Ah, there's the fan there. That's a zombie. That was a waste of a bullet. So there's a fan there, so we need to turn the fan off. Oh. Interesting. So we need to turn the fan off to get out from there. Oh, spider. Oh, giant spider. Spiders. Just, I'm just gonna run. I can avoid getting poisoned, that would be awesome. Why is there always spiders? Oh, more spiders. Ha 
Where else that? Blue herbs growing here. Oh, okay, so if I get poison, I can just use that. Oh, oh shit. Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? You are delicious. I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. <gasps> well, duh. Sorry. Ah oh, yes, of course, the famous this way. umbrella assassination, where they can't even fucking shoot straight. <laughs> Sheer perfection, my precious G virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come, Doctor. We're here to collect the G virus sample. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Eat this, you freak! I'm, I'm stopping it! What is this thing? No! Those will be the two ones that we saw before. CG is so awful now. Mmm. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. Well, now that's, that's great. He's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry. You go that way. <laughs> All right. Let's go and get Sherry, I guess. Ah. Good thing I have this valve handle. Uh, 
Okay. So I'll still need it to move it up when I get up there. Um, oh, yes, I need some health. Take some greenery. Oh, I'm not too bad. I might leave it until I get a bit more hetty. Oh, no, not the ink ribbon. I want the nades. Awesome. Okay. Um, and is there anything else here? I don't think so. Through the door. Okay. Now what? What's, what's the fuck is that? It's high pressure gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this the, um... Is this the giant crocodile? This looks from... This looks familiar. Sherry! Yep, giant crocodile. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Has it got the gas cylinder in it? Yes. Boom! Shagalaga! <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's another boss down. That's pretty easy. Uh, how am I doing for health, though? No, I might use them now. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Oh, door is electronically locked. Let's unelectronically lock. Oh, right. Sherry! Okay. Wake up, Sherry. Oh, no. Don't worry. Her daddy impregnated her. That's not weird or anything. Let's go. All right. Well, let's get the medal. No idea where that's supposed to go, but we'll get it anyway. Is there anything else in here? Nope. All right. Let's head up. This will put us... Ah. Hmm. Oh, okay. I've got to go... I've got to go down, go all the way back, and rotate it from the other side, and then I should be able to... cross again. I think. Come on, Sherry. Stupid. Oh well, at least it's not as bad as Resident Evil 4 where you have to look after Ashley for the entire time. At least I hope so. Sherry, I'm literally just here. Come on.
All right, so I should be able to rotate from here, I think. From the other side, yeah. Cool. Yep. All good. Let's go all the way back. Make sure Sherry will keep up with us. Kind of feel like we've almost finished the sewers though. Or maybe just like the sewer, like the sewer part. We haven't gotten to the treatment facility yet, but getting close. It feels like we've explored quite a lot of it. So okay, so there should be. Thank you. A walkway. So where where have we got? Where have we got to go? So there's, there's nothing to the left, so let's go to the left. Really, Sherry? You got stuck on the rail. Come on. There we go. What's up here? Oh, lovely. But it looks like there's the Eagle Medal, which is what we want. And another memo. Sewer Manager Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looks at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathy, so after all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than usual. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without any help in my medal. This is what it means for the chief to protect and serve. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Cool, fun times. So we have the Eagle Medal and we have the Wolf Medal. So hopefully, that should be all the medals we need to get to the silly fan regulator. How? How do I stop that? That? Okay. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's go through the ventilation slot, shall we? <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Come on. <coughs> Come on, Sherry. Bloody hell, stop walking backwards. So maybe this will spit us back out to where we were? Yes. Okay, so... I think I'll leave it there, because we've got to figure out where we've got to go next. I'm assuming it's probably along those um, places that we haven't explored yet. Actually, let's, let's quickly do that, because that actually kind of looks like an entrance to... Uh, the the lab underneath. So we want to go all the way to the end and the left. 
Oh yeah, this is where the spiders was, wasn't it? Oh, he's alive. Nope. Oh. Oh, they're all sick. They're all very sick. At least the spiders aren't there anymore. Oh, no, these spiders are. Come on, Sherry. Come on, Sherry. Oh. Ah, clearance. A wolf and an eagle. Yep, that's what we need. Use. And use. And we have clearance. Oh, and this looks a little bit more. Si oh, this looks very sinister. <laughs> I think I will leave it there, because this looks like the entrance to a lab, doesn't it? Oh yes, yes it does. A cable car. Um, so yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more Game Jump material, and some more Resident Evil 2, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jump, signing out.